What's up guys? I hope y'all are all doing well today. Um, today, I wanted to talk about this new movie I saw. Um, also, this, uh, this is going to be a new, like, um, I guess, little show on the, on the channel uh, where I talk about new movies that I saw in theaters and what I think about them and how I feel, interpret them, analyze them, and basically just review them and, uh, I guess, give you guys my opinion. So, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, let me know in the comments. So today we're going to be talking about the highly anticipated film called Midsummer by uh, the mind behind last year's horror movie, uh, Hereditary, Ari Aster. So this movie came out July 2nd, which is from today. It's three days ago. So I saw it on opening day. Uh, with my parents and then the next day I went to go see it again uh, with my friend Nick and a couple of my other friends. So yeah, basically I'm going to break down the movie from uh, the te technical parts of it and then give you guys what I thought about the message and how it was effective. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So one thing before I get into this review, if you have not seen the movie yet and you're planning on going to see it, I would go watch it first because this video is for sure going to have spoilers about, it's not really a twist, but the message behind it and the whole plot line and ideas of the film. So for the basis of the film, the basis of this movie is about a couple, Danny and Christian, uh, who are invited by their friend group to go travel to Sweden to their friend's cult slash community to witness their... Uh, 90 year tradition midsummer celebration it's basically like a festival that they celebrate every 90 years that deals with all the seasons and how they affect their community and how they live so what they thought at the beginning was going to be a super peaceful and educational trip it's basically it basically turns into super violent and bizarre competition um, that the cult has set up for the festival. So now that you know, I mean, if, you, if you're watching this, I hope you've seen the movie. If not, this will be super educational for you, I guess. So throughout this film, one thing that really stood out to me was the editing and the transitions between shots. Uh, those are really fascinating to me. The editing done in this movie was on point. Uh, there were many times where the, the camera, or no, 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 the use of the rule of thirds um, placed the point of focus perfect in the transition between shots. So let's say they have a, sh for example, let's say they have a shot where the point of focus is in the top right corner. Then they uh, cut to another shot where the uh, point of focus is in the exact same, exact same point of focus. So uh, to me, that was something that really stood out. Um, they really got the editing down in this film. Also, the cinematography in this film is amazing. Uh, they're super, they had a really good use of colors and theatricals, as well as use of fire, I thought was brilliant. One thing I did notice with the technical part of this film uh, was um, they were missing that really standout performance that they had in Hereditary uh, by Tony Collette, which was a super good performance. Nonetheless, the performances were pretty good Nothing stand out, like I said earlier, uh, just a second ago. So as for the writing, I found it to be really good, but not flawless. The one thing that stood out was that they didn't have very many throwaway lines. Uh, most of the lines um, develop character, as well as open up for new plot points. But I didn't find it to be super interactive. The directing, of course, was amazing. Ari Aster is a great director. He's done a lot of short films, as well as, as one of my favorite horror movies, Hereditary, which I believe to be like top tier horror. Um, the sounding, the the sound mixing and editing was superb. They got the sound down really good. The score is great. Can't complain about the score at all. One flaw I did find with the film was that they did kind of stretch out the uh, suspense scenes too long um, to try to add more suspense that that wasn't necessarily there um, but for me personally I don't find that to be too big of an issue 
It was just like some slight that I noticed. Okay, now to get on with um, the messages and ideas of the film. So after watching this film for the first time, uh, two day, three days ago, uh, and then uh, reading some of the reviews about it the next day, I found that me many people actually under misunderstood uh, the meaning of the whole film, and they didn't really get all of the plot points, and they didn't understand how they all mix together. So at the beginning of the film, there's a scene, um, well, it just opens up with the main character, Danny, um, worrying about her sister who just sent her a very sketchy email that talked about um, something about something's going wrong with their parents. And then a couple scenes later, it, uh, it cuts to a scene of firefighters going in and um, actually finding a suicide slash murder in the house of the sister and her parents. They actually like attached hoses to the back of the exhaust while the cars are running, which they spread into the uh, her parents' bedroom and like taped to the sister's mouth, which obviously made them die from carbon monoxide. And then after that point, um, it never really gets brought back up in the whole film. But to me, the entire film is basically her overcoming her loss and, adver and going through that adversity of her parents dying and, well, I guess her sister killing herself as well as her parents. I found the film to be showing a way for you to cope with adversity and find people who actually care about how you feel instead of um, somebody who's just there for the good times and isn't really there for you but actually there for themselves which is symbolized by her boyfriend Christian so yeah I found that to be a big misunderstanding for most people who saw the film they didn't actually understand where the film went and how that that scene set up the whole entire movie also going off that point whenever I went to the theater the second time to see it there was this guy who at the, at the very last, last shot of the film, and it cut to black, he was like, oh man, it can't end like that. But the last shot is a shot of Danny smiling to the, the ritual being burned down. And I believe that was like a perfect spot to end the film, showing that she's finally happy with where she is and the people she's around, instead of the sadness she went through with her boyfriend and having lost her parents and her sister. So yeah, I think many people misunderstood that part of the film, and I hope this can have hopefully give them a better uh, lens, a much better and clearer lens to look through the film. One thing I wanted to point out was the scene where the people jump off the cliff. I forgot what it's called. Uh, I think it's something Swedish, but basically when people turn 72 in the ritual, that's the end of their life, and they don't want them to go out uh, in a very painful way, so they just kill themselves. Um, so I believe that they showed that, um, that part of the film to address, um, Danny's view on death. For example, let's say you've never heard anybody ever say the F word. And let's say, uh, one week you go, uh, have a camp with your friends or something and all of them curse F, 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 all saying the F word. It's going to, um, lose its value to you as I feel like that's what the death signified um, losing its value for Danny. So in my opinion, I believe this film um, portrayed its message very clearly and successfully as well as giving us good techniques to prove that. Overall, I find this film very exciting and not boring at all. I think it's a super good film Comparing it to Hereditary, it doesn't come close, but um, I still like it a lot. My final rating for this film is an 8.5. I'd put it just right around there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call it amazing, but I'd have it like around great. And right between really good and great is where I'd, I'd put this film. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little rant slash review thing I have going on. I'm going to try to do uh, more films that come out in the future, although I'm kind of I'm kind of picky when it comes to going to see movies, so um, 
this is probably going to be a very rare series. So yeah, I can't wait to see what else Ari Aster has in store for us as far as filmmaking and making really uh, intriguing post-horror films. That's it for me, guys. Um, hope you all enjoy the movie as well, and uh, see you around. Peace.